Welcome to Quick Learning. In this session, we are going to learn another very useful transaction code of SCP, SCP PM module. That is how to change any PM notification. In previous video, we have learned how to create a notification to perform any maintenance order. But in this video, we will learn how to change a notification. For this, we will write IW22 in transaction code and press enter. The following window will appear that has appeared in front of you. If we already know the exact number of notification that we want to change, then what we will do? We will just write the notification number over here. You can see only single tab of notification number and we will press enter then that particular notification will appear in front of you and you can just change that but if we don't know the exact num name or the exact number of notification we will press the button that is on the right side of that tab that is for the search this will help us to search or find out our required pm notification that we want to change what we will do I will, there are a lot of options available that you can just write out to narrow down your search for me I will just write here M1 notification type because I know that the notification that I am going to change is M1 and plus other I will enter the functional location as well that I know that for which functional location my uh, notification was created I will uh, write that function location over here and uh, uh, then I will be able to get my required notification uh, there so uh, these are the two simple steps that I have I would do uh, to take, find out my notification first so you can see after entering these two things these list of notifications have appeared in front of me that are created on this particular functional location and these are all our M1 type so you can see I can easily find out which one of these is my notification I can just simply I can do what I can do there I can just simply select any one of these and now this notification will appear this notification will appear in my main tab where I have, would have to write the notification number so when this notification number will appear there I just need to open it and I can make any change in that either I want to change the time durations or I may, then I will press you know you I will press enter I can change the description or the title or the functional location equipment etc so this new notification is going to replace faulty closure sensor so I can write detail here the closure so needs to be replaced replaced as it is faulty etc so I can change functional location equipment as per my need so this start was 21st of Jan so and these are the dates here so I can just write anything or change anything and I just need to press save button and this notification will be saved here so you have seen that how easily we can change any PM notification and we can just find the at notification first and then we can change it easily as per our need. So this uh, video was related uh, to this purpose of changing the notification that we have created in past and we can change it as per our need. So uh, in the second uh, session of this uh, video we will learn how to display a notification it is very simple the transaction code for that is IW23 so IW21 was for creation IW22 is for change of notification PM notification then IW23 is for display of notification just display what you will do you will open IW23 you will write your notification number if you know and you will press enter okay after pressing enter what what needs to be done is uh, the their particular notification will be appeared in front of you and you can display what it is all about 
okay so this session is very useful for your daily use for any question you can just write in uh, the, your uh, comment section please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel bye bye